This video will go over the files in an example CMake uh, Catch 2 C++ project. This is a fairly bare bones CMake project that is self-contained where the only two external dependencies are included in the repo itself. Those two dependencies are the Catch 2 test framework, which comes as a single header HPP file, and the docopt.cpp source code, which I just copied a few files from the their uh, git repo. Also part of the catch2 dependency is the CMake module, which handles making all the catch2 test cases compatible with ctest. Without this module, you'd have to manually add a ctest entry for each catch2 test in your source code. Moving on to the CMake list text file, we'll just go down line by line and explain their purpose. So first up is the CMake minimum require uh, command with, and the project uh, command. Both of these are required for every CMake project. Um, next up, I always add this, I, I append to the module path um, for any locally stored um, CMake modules in our Git repo. Then I enable ctest with the, the next two commands. The first target we're creating is the hello library. And you can see it just have the two source files. Include the source directory um, publicly so that any libraries that depend on it will also get this include directory uh, so that they can just do pound include hello.h. The target compile options our compile options specifically for this target and um, here basically just adding the warnings for the respective compiler types. Uh, you can probably figure out how to add more for different compilers if you're using a different compiler. I create a separate library for the docop source code which comes in handy if I add more targets in the future that depend on it. The docop uh, CPP library has its own dependency on the C++11 standard. So we have the target compile features command for that. The first executable we're creating is uh, just the say hello exe. And all that has is the main. And then we link to main uh, or to this target with the hello and the docop libraries again with the target specific compile options for uh, including warnings. For the catch library target we specify interface because it doesn't actually generate any build output. We specify the include directory and now when we link other targets to the catch library the include directory will automatically be included. For the unit tests, we create a new exe. This target needs its own main function, uh, which the catch2 library can provide for us. You can see how to enable that by looking at the main.cpp file. Creating your own main function is a bit more involved, and I've not had a need for that yet. This is also where you'd add all the source files that contain all the test cases for testing our software. I include the test directory itself as an include directory so that files under the test directory can just pound include relative to it. This target depends on the catch2 library and the hello library, of course. And we have the same compile options from up above. I include the CMake module provided by the catch test framework and call one of the functions in that module that will create ctest entries for each of the test cases detected in our unit test target above. In this example, I only package the unit test target in uh, a bin directory, but you could also include any of the other targets too, such as the say hello exe or the hello library itself. And finally, we set all of the CPAC uh, information and include CPAC so that CPAC can package up all of our deliverables. Moving on to the Azure Pipeline's YAML file, 
can see that it's broken up into one trigger and one job. The one job we have named Windows will run on a Windows agent that must have CMake installed. The agent will be chosen from an agent pool named Home Pool. The first step in a job will run after the code has been checked out from the repo. Our first step will simply just configure CMake from within the build directory. The second step will build our CMake project using the debug config. This third step is actually disabled, but I've kept it in to show an example of how we'd be able to execute our unit test exe. The fourth task is actually what runs our regression test uh, using ctest and the debug config. And the J command is simply a PowerShell command to determine the number of uh, CPUs or cores on our system so that we can parallelize uh, when we have several tests to run. The fifth step, uh, run the CPAC and we'll package everything up into a 7-zip archive. The sixth step will then copy that 7-zip archive file from the CMake build directory to a staging area that Azure can publish for us. And the seventh step will then publish all the artifacts in the staging directory. Our git ignore file just ignores the typical C++ files and also the CMake build directory and our VS Code hidden directory. A convention I like to follow when using the catch test framework is to include the uh, test file name as a tag itself. And this comes in handy when I want to run all the tests in a specific file, but exclude every other test. The main function for the unit test target is included in the catch framework itself via this pound define catch config main before including the catch.hpp. The main function for the say hello executable just shows a simple example of how to use docopt for C++. The hello header is pretty simple and self-explanatory. And the same goes for its CPP file. I'm not going to go through each of the docopt source files or the CMake module for the catch test framework, as that's kind of out of the scope of this video. But that's a simple example of a CMake C++ project that uses the catch test framework.